Today, I talk about movies. It's Movie Monday! Excellent. Did you hear that Jim Jarmusch is... Who? He made coffin cigarettes? Oh. Who? <sighs> this guy? <laughs> His hair is awesome. My hair is awesome too. Anyway, Jim Jarmusch, uh, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy Boy, J-Man, Jim, anyway, he's working on an opera about Nikola Tesla. <laughs> Tesla, I get it. Get what? <laughs> anyway, that's cool, because Nikola Tesla's total hero, yeah? AC for life, yo. <laughs> DC FTW. Go screw yourself, I'm an ACK. Yeah, well, I'm a DC. Turtles! Where? Where? At the cinema. Soon, sometime, probably. Two of the guys who wrote Iron Man are writing the new Turtles movie. It's like a reboot. <sighs> Don't do that. Don't alienate the few viewers we have. People love Iron Man. Fine. What? Nothing. Good. <coughs> boring, <coughs> boring action. <coughs> Tripe. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> well, Tim Burton is doing a new Adams Family. Didn't he do the first one? No. Okay. Fine. I think it's cool anyway because I always wondered what an Adams Family film would look like if it was made by Tim Burton. And he's making it based on the original single panel comics that they did like in the past sometime I don't do research time for a review a review yes a review a Scott Pilgrim vs the world review based on the comic by Brian Lee O'Malley O'Malley you say top of the morning to ya no no, no Irish jokes. You know the trouble we got in last time. But death threats. Do you want to be killed in your sleep? No, but based on the comic by Brian Lee O'Malley, the movie is steeped in gaming references and special effects and fights. It's like Edgar Wright made the film specifically for two purposes. One, filling it with everything that mattered to me growing up. Two, making sure that my dad will never watch the whole thing and never understand a minute of it. It's dizzying, it's fast paced, and it's just a ton of fun. <laughs> it's almost like the action genre's answer to musicals. Huh? Spontaneous sudden fight scenes where it's completely normal that everyone has supernatural fighting abilities. Hmm? Oh. I would say that Sarah's character is a bit of a dick, really. But he's so cute! And there's a bit of a missed opportunity in the end to make an ending that was truly surprising and good. All in all, though, I'd say this is a strong two brower. Two what? Two, two brows. It means it's really good. Okay. What? Nothing. Right, that's it. You're getting the bird. <laughs> no, stop it! <laughs> you really want to leave a comment, I can tell.